Hello everyone, welcome to the SFDC Commando. So in today's video, we are gonna learn about how to install data loader with Julu. So to do that, we have like simple steps uh, to be followed. Uh, so I have categorized into three steps. Uh, the first step is like download the Julu Open JDK that is the 11 version and install the same. And the second step would be download load data loader and install. And the third step, uh, what we are going to do is we will just log in into our data loader after the installation and create one account using CSV file. So without wasting much time, let's start our uh, practical session how to install data loader. So I have given the log uh, the URL as well from where you can download the Zulu file. So what I'll do, I'll just copy the same and go to the browser and paste it here. So for now, I just open this browser to save the time and I'll just show you if you are on the window, then make sure uh, or you can just check the configuration from your uh, computer what bit you are using. So I'm using the 64 bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the dot MSI file. If you are using a MacBook, then below you scroll down and you can see you have another option to download. So make sure you are downloading that dot DMG. So once you download the same, so what I'll do as I'm using the windows, I'll use this dot MSI of the 64 bit. So once this will download, yeah, what we can do. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just go to the second state of the same. I'll just download the data loader to save my time. So there are two options to download the Salesforce data loader. Either you can navigate to the this URL directly and download from here. If you are using Mac, you, uh, I mean, then you can select this option. So I'm using the Windows, so I've selected this, yeah, and use this version. Okay, it's up to you which one you want to use. So make sure you download the same. So make sure and click on the same. So once this is download, what we can do, the next step uh, we are gonna do is, we'll go to the, our download file, yeah. So in download, here you can see, uh, I have my Zulu installed here not installed downloaded here so the next step would be just install the same so double click on this and say next and select this file as it is and click on the next and click on install it will ask this confirmation say yes so once this is done the next step would be uh, you have to go to the data loader and unzip the file so now this is done so i'll say finish so here is my data loader install. So what I did already just unzip the same. So you can extract this file. So already did the same here. So I'll just navigate to the same file. Yeah. And there would be one batch file of this called data loader dot batch. So what you can do just click on this. It will just open this window. So if everything looks okay, then you will get data loader ui here so as i said the first step would be we have to log into our data loader with our credential and insert one account for our testing whether this is working as expected or not so uh, we can say password authentication or uh, it's up to you so production or sandbox if, if so if you are using any of sandbox you can select sandbox if not then you if you are using developer sandbox say or select production and login so just wait here so already I have given the username now I have to give the password so let me keep that for now and there. yeah so it will take some time yeah so just allow so it will say yes this login successful and i'm getting this next button so here i'm going to create the account so i'll select the account and select the csv file so i have already selected this already created the file csv file in my 
Oxy yes. so here is the CSV account so just say next yeah. so it's processing so you can see any slash success okay and next is we have to do the mapping so click here okay search for the name name description description then website we are gonna map so mapping is very much important so i think if you have already used then no need to focus here but yeah those who are very new make sure you have done this mapping before inserting into the database and say next and where you want to store the success or error file just give the path here so already i have given my path and say finish it will ask whether you want to create new or not say yes yeah so here you can see one successful and zero error yeah and you can see the file so we'll look for this account in our developer sandbox to see whether this got created or not okay cisco account yeah here you can see so hope uh, you have seen how to install and create a i mean kind of demo account with data loader hope this video helped you so See you on next video.